Well, his last name is Green, so turtles are green. Kind of makes sense. Do you think that's how they cast him? Do you think they literally just went, hey, who has the last name Green so we can make him a Ninja Turtle? Seth Green, there we go. I guess Corbin Blue is gonna voice a Smurf. Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the new Nickelodeon version, will be renewed for a fourth season. That's right, you're like, wait a minute, I thought you're only in season two. They already had announced a while back that they were gonna do three seasons, and now they're announcing they're doing a fourth season. So congratulations, Ninja Turtles. Highly reviewed, one of the best rated shows on Nickelodeon. They're almost close to that sponge. So basically, if you're still one of these people who are just like, I'm not gonna give the show a chance because it's not my Ninja Turtles from the 80s or my Ninja Turtles from the 2000s, then uh, you're stupid. At least give the show a chance, jeez. Oh, but the animation looks crappy. Yeah, because that 1980s Ninja Turtles animation was perfection for Ninja Turtles looking the exact same except for their color bandanas, which were usually confused where they'd have the wrong color bandana on the wrong turtle. Perfect. It was actually good animation, but I'm just saying. At least the CGI version knows which turtle is which. Stop hating. Grow up, says a guy talking about Ninja Turtles as a grown man. This is why I sleep alone at night. But even bigger than the news that they're getting a fourth season was the announcement that starting in season three, the voice of Leonardo is changing. It's going through puberty from Jason Biggs to Seth Green. And personally, I really don't care. If Rob Paulson got changed or Greg Sipes got changed, then there'd be some uproar. There'd be some flipping chairs burning down the Nickelodeon studios. This is for you, Paulson! But Jason Biggs not being Leonardo, I can get over it. It's not really a big thing for me. I mean, it, it's not really a big thing for me. Seth Green has done voices before. He's not this random celebrity that's just deciding, I'm gonna do voices now, you know? Like Jason Biggs, has he ever done a voice before this? So, whatever. As long as Seth Green sounds like Leonardo and not like Chris Griffin, then I think we're fine. There's an evil foot soldier in my closet! We already got a hint that Jason Biggs might be leaving Ninja Turtles because a couple of episodes this season did not have his voice. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, Dominic Catrambone? 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 Dominic, come and voice Leonardo. Catrambone. Ah, broke the string. If you know what that is a reference to, then I love you. You know that dude was like, oh, I got this, I'm in the back. I'm already Leonardo in the video game, now in the cartoon, and they're gonna just call me up, and they're like, uh, no. Sorry, Dominic, there's always breadwinners. But I kinda get why they did it. Because saying that you're replacing one actor with another actor is pretty much good news. Everyone comes off clean. We don't ask about Jason Biggs, we don't make a big deal about it. Nickelodeon just go, Seth Green's new Leonardo, let's move on. But if you go, hey, Jason Biggs, his big name movie actor is being replaced by a random voice guy, that's gonna lead to some questions. Some people are already questioning it with him being replaced by Seth Green. Like, what's the deal with Jason Biggs? Are you doing Orange and New Black? You got some new things. We've seen your Twitter a few times, so we know what's up with that. Woo! Or it could have just been a contract thing. Who knows? Who cares? The fact is that, that saying that Seth Green is replacing him just allows it to be more positive news than negative. Besides, Ninja Turtle characters changing their voices has happened before. We had two Donatellos, remember? Rob Paulson wasn't doing this show at the end. They had a different Raphael. And even though we remember the late James Avery as the Shredder, there was like two or three other dudes that did Shredder. I think I was the voice for Shredder for a bit. Hold on, what's my line? Okay, I got it, I got it. Mm. I'll get those blasted karate tortoises. How was that? What? I'm fired? Okay. Should I just see myself out? All right. Hey, do I get residual? But I still feel bad for Dominic because the man did his part. I say give him another voice. Find some new character on Ninja Turtles. Make it a regular character. Give him the voice of that. You can voice Burn Thompson. Little college student Burn Thompson. Or teenage Vernon. Or Ace Duck because why not? Welcome Seth Green to the Ninja Turtles family. Treat Leonardo right, and I look forward to all your robot chicken Ninja Turtle sketches. Jason Biggs, best luck to you. Uh, don't have sex with any pies, particularly Ninja Turtle pies. <laughs> this Ninja Turtle pie tastes funny. Jason! Talk about fresh from the sewers. Is there anybody else that you think could have been Leonardo? Cam Clark, yeah. Let me know in the comments below. You should go over to Screen Junkies channel. I talk with Screen Junkies and Red Letter Media about the most embarrassing Ninja Turtle moments of all time. I can't imagine what possible things that we could talk about that could be considered a most embarrassing Ninja Turtles moment. Walk straight, no need to mutate. Mutate. Oh, if you're walking straight, you got to walk, walk straight. <laughs> now talk, talk straight. Whoa, whoa, yeah. I love you like a play cousin. I'm out of 5,000. Chain chomp, yomp.